a very good morning to all the children and parents as today my name is miss himani and today we are going to study english as we all know these are difficult times we are not allowed to go out from our, of our homes but as it says learning can happen anywhere so today we are going to study english from our home so i hope you are you are all ready yes show me your thumbs up if you are ready very very good okay so i request you all to please keep a pen and paper handy in case you need to note down something and i also want to request you to please turn off the mute to please turn on the mute button if you have any query any question you can ask in the end of the session okay if you have done it please show me your thumbs up good so let's start okay so let's begin our first english session for our first english class of this session so today we are going to start with our lesson number 1 from our english book which is how to write an interesting description children you can repeat the name after me it is how to write an interesting description the name of the lesson is how to write an interesting description you all can see the name on on your screens yes it is how to write an interesting description so it is very similar to the chapter which we have done in class 3 called got in a description so let us start with what is description basically whatever we are describing is called description description is a detailed account of a person place event or an object description means but in this lesson we are going to we will learn we will only learn about how to describe a person so but why do we need to describe a person why there is need of a description the description description allow us to see and to know the person better it enable us to create an image of the same so description for, for describing something we need to know two things that is lots of describing words so that we can create a perfect image of the person with our words and second is similes we all know what similes are yes when we compare two things by using the word like or as for example her cheeks are like apple yes he is as tall as a tree yes so these are similes when we compare two dissimilar things using like or as so basically whenever we are describing something we generally have a habit to describe things using only fact in a very basic manner suppose i am describing a person i'll say like her name is rani she has long hair she is fair she wears black bangles she is kind and helpful so can you imagine that person in your mind no not very clear yes it's a very blur image but if i describe a person like this rani didi helps my mother with her housework she is tall and fair complexion she has beautiful bright eyes and chubby cheeks that looks like apples she loves to dress up in colorful clothes ribbons and clips adorn her long hair and her glass bangle tinkle cheerfully when she works in the evenings when she is free she tells us wonderful story about the village she grew up in yes now can you imagine the person show me your thumbs up yes we all can does that person looks like this yes she has cheeks like apples she is wearing colorful clothes she has bangles in her hand and she has long hairs so you see the description help us to create a picture in our mind it help us to create a photograph in our mind yes only with our words so whenever we are describing something 
the first thing is we start with is by describing the physical appearance of a person physical appearance include height body build weight facial features like eyes forehead lips nose eyebrows chin jaw cheeks skin and hair it also includes special and unusual marks which you have on your body it includes deformities if any person has any or mannerism means behavior habits of a person so whenever we are describing a person we describe that person by talking about all these things first of all let's start by describing the height basically we divide the height of a person into three categories tall medium and short so whenever we are describing a person who is tall so we can use he is tall very tall or we can also use the word towering or you can always write the height in numbers like about 5 feet 8 inches tall suppose we are describing a person who has a medium height so we will always say he is of medium height he is of average height don't forget to write the word of the next is when we, whenever we are describing a short person we will we can use the word short dwarf midget vertically challenged for him right so for describing the height we can use the words tall towering for tall persons medium height average height for average height person short dwarf midget and vertically challenged for shorter person clear show me your thumbs up yes so let's move to the next topic which is body build or weight of a person on the terms on the basis of weight we categorize a person into three categories fat thin or average weight so if we are describing a person who is very fat we can use the words like plump heavy bulky stocky pudgy yes so all these words can be used to describe a person who is very fat if we are describing a person who is of average weight we can use the words like about 60 kg well proportioned or medium weight if we are describing a person who is very thin who is thin or slim we can also use the words lanky or bony yes other than these there are few more words which we which we can use to describe the body build of a person like flabby flabby is a person who who skin, who has a very soft and loose and whose skin is very soft and hanging loosely suppose if, if a person is flabby around his waist if he has a loose tummy if he has a hanging loosely hang, hanging tummy so we can say that he is very flabby around the waist thick neck a person who has a very thick neck athletic basically all the sports person has athletic body yes pigeon chested pigeon chested is a person whose chest is slightly outward out muscular muscular means one who has lots of muscles powerfully built again a strong person yes frail frail means weak person huge huge means enormous person a person who is very tall and very broad as well so for describing the weight of a person we can use words like fat plump heavy bulky stocky pudgy yes well proportioned lanky bony yes so you will remember all these words show me your thumbs up yes so let's move to the next topic which is complexion complexion means skin tone the color of the skin so the color of skin can be dark can be fair fair means light it can be light whitish mostly of mostly all indians has a whitish complexion rosy peachy someone whose cheeks are very pink so we say they have a rosy complexion they have peachy complexion or dusky again dusky means dark complexion next is skin 
we all have different types of skin someone has a very clear skin clear means flawless without any spots wrinkled skin generally older people have wrinkled skin you must have seen your grandparents they have a lot of wrinkles loosely hanging skin on their face as you can also see in this picture next is rough skin dry skin oily skin oily means when you have lots of oil on your face freckled skin freckled is a light brown spot especially in around your nose and beneath your eyes as you can see in this picture so it is called freckled skin so complexion can be dark fair light reddish rosy peachy dusky whereas skin can be clear wrinkled rough dry oily freckled am i clear are you getting this show me your thumbs up good so let's move to the next slide which is eyes eyes is one of the most important part of our body you, you know characters can be positive or negative on the basis of their eyes if a character has a very mean eyes negative eyes so it becomes a negative character but if a but if a character has very positive eyes very beautiful eyes it become a positive character so eyes can be narrow narrow means very small sharp eyes someone who has good observational skills right shifty eyes someone who who keeps on shifting their eyes left right left right yes blue eyes brown eyes black eyes gray eyes glassy eyes fiery eyes means angry eyes sleepy eyes drowsy eyes so whenever we are tired we have sleepy or drowsy eyes thoughtful eyes whenever we are thinking about something or deep eyes yes so we can categorize our eyes we can use so many words to describe the eyes of a person you can also say big eyes small eyes yes beady eyes beady means something which is very small in size as you can see in this picture right so let's move to the next slide which is lips so lips can be thin lips full lips full means thick lips or pouting lips these days we all pout whenever we are clicking a selfie yes so those lips are called pouting lips next is hair hair can be long and straight like mine yes i have long and straight hairs or wavy shoulder length short hairs curly hairs or spiky hairs or bald someone who has very less hairs or no hairs is called a bald person the next is nose nose is also of different types nose can be straight or long yes it can be bulbous bulbous means round nose pudgy pudgy means flat nose as you can see in this picture it is slightly flat or bony nose so nose is one which you can feel the bones very clearly you can see the shape of your bones big nose yes sharp nose sharp means pointed nose or fracture nose generally whenever we are describing a criminal or a negative person we say they have a fractured nose because they often includes in fights the next is eyebrows so basically there are five main eyebrows shape it can be arched it can be steep arched it can be s shape it can be rounded shape or it can be straight so eyebrows can be arched steep arch s shaped rounded or straight we can also describe the eyebrows as joined eyebrows as you can see in this picture or bushy eyebrows bushy means that those who have lots of hairs on their eyebrows their eyebrows are called bushy or sparse eyebrows sparse means someone who has very less or no hairs on their eyebrows so they are called they are called to have sparse eyebrows next is chin chin can be firm strong cleft cleft is chin which has a little depression here okay a dimple like depression like you can see in this picture this person has a cleft chin you can see there is a depression here yes a heavy chin sharp chin means pointed chin or a weak chin okay next is jaw if this part is called chin this entire part is called 
jaw. Jaw can be angular. As you can see in this picture, the person has an angular jaw. You can see all the angles here. Yes? Or a square jaw. Like this. The person here is has a square jaw. Or it can be bony jaw. Where you can feel the bones of the jawline. Yes? Or a heavy jaw. A very big jaw. Next is cheeks. The cheeks can be plump cheeks. Plump means chubby cheeks. Or it can be hollow cheeks. Hollow means generally poor people and older people has hollow cheeks. Their cheeks are hollow from the middle, from this area. As you can also see in the picture. Or they can be rosy, pink cheeks. Yes. Or dimple. You get a depression here when you smile. Like you can see in the picture. These are called dimple cheeks. Now the next topic is special and unusual marks. So special marks include bruises. So whenever we fell down or we have an accident, we generally have lots of bruises and scars. So these blue color wounds are called bruises and these are scars which generally left some marks on our body. Next is moles. Moles are tiny black spots on our body. So as you can see here, this is a mole. Or they, it can be a tattoo, a permanent tattoo. Yes, we can use a tattoo to describe a person. That the person with a bird tattoo, the person with a uh, name tattoo. Yes, or it can be pimples. Some people have lots of pimples on their face. And you can use these pimples for describing them. Next is deformities. Deformities means when a person is missing or the, uh, one or more parts of their body, it is called to have a deformities, called to have deformities. So basically a person can be mute, he cannot speak, those who cannot speak are called mute. Hard of hearing, a person who cannot hear properly, stammering, the person who cannot speak fluently is called stammering. Okay, one eye person whose one eye is either damaged or he has a very weak eyesight. So it's called to have one eyed person. One arm. One arm means a person who is missing one arm. So generally those person whose one eye is wounded or is damaged, he can wear an eye patch on one of his eyes. It is called eye patch or a person can, can have a wooden leg or an artificial leg. Next is mannerism. Mannerism means behavior, your habits. So some people are always nervous. That nervousness shows on their faces. So they are called to have nervous. Shifty eye. Some people have a habit of continuously looking in different directions. You know? Sometimes left, right, left, right. So they are known to have shifty eyes. Sniffling. The one who sniffs like a dog. Like this. Rubbing nose rubbing hands or rubbing chin. It can also be a habit, a behavior, a manner. Pulling nose, pulling lips or pulling chin. It is also part of a mannerism. Nail biting. Yes, I know it's a very bad habit but some of us have this habit of you see of biting our nails. So it is also comes in mannerism or licking our lips like this. We do it. Yes. So these all become part of our mannerism. So we can use all these things to describe a person. But don't forget, don't always write about facts. You, are, you have to give details also. Or you have to use similes and good describing words whenever we are describing someone. So here is one small activity for you. No need to unmute yourself. Okay, you can say the answers. Tell the answers to your parents and then we can check. So let's see. In the first picture, the person is fat, slim or thin. Fat. In the second picture, the person is lovely. No. Pretty. No. He is ugly. Third picture, confident. No. Curious. Yes. In the fourth picture, sensitive. No. Strong. Yes. In the fifth picture, middle age, no, old, yes. In the sixth picture, beautiful, no, horrible, yes. Next picture, funny, yes, we can see the teeth, yes. 
in the eighth picture busy no hard working no lazy yes ninth picture clever yes he is having ideas last picture plump short short yes so now you understand am i clear show me your thumbs up good so let's revise it so first we discussed about that whatever we are describing is called a description we can use describing words and similes to describe a person never use only we, we should never use only facts to describe a person we should give details if we want to make our description interesting so we have whenever we are describing a person we have to start with describing their physical appearance it includes height weight body build complexion skin facial features like eyes lips nose eyebrows chin jaw cheeks hair skin special or unusual marks on their skin deformities and mannerism so children give me show me your thumbs up if i am clear clear sure okay so let's move to the next so these are your two tasks which you have to do related to this chapter the first one is you have to stand in front of a mirror and look at your physical appearance and facial features also try and find out if you have any special or unusual marks on your body observe your mannerism to find out more about your personality and fill the grid given below so you have to stand in front of a mirror observe your physical appearance and you have to fill the grid which is fill the table which is given below you have to write your height your body build weight uh, about your eyes nose lips eyebrows chin basically everything which we have discussed today okay height and weight you can write in numbers also plus you can use the words which we have discussed today clear any queries so let's move to the next task next is you have to choose a random picture of a person from a newspaper or a magazine and you have to write an interesting description for it you have to use good vocabulary yes we have discussed so many words today so you have to use all the all these words but remember you don't have to write about everything okay don't write about every physical appearance eyes nose look choose the most interesting part of that picture and then write about them giving proper details okay and you can make your assignments colorful attractive beautiful try to make it more colorful more attractive okay am i clear any queries no so let's end the session here okay thank you children stay safe stay healthy